two little yeah. chains, and I got my trophy. <laughs> Can I have just got it last game? Like, I actually just kind of want to DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... I mean, I've got five, I've got five kids that I'm going to so i level up some killers while I wait. That's fine. Get my adept real quick, and that's a bug again. Probably. I'm just getting everyone up to level 15 and then I'm gonna get everyone up to level 40. Actually, should play on the switch. Probably not. Oh, got that. They tabbed out? Why'd they just stand still? Sussy. Just call that. That's actually sussy. Oh my god, they're oh, lagging all over the place. Feng. Feng just stood in front of me like they wanted to go for a beamer, but they're holding nothing in their hand. I came. Oh, I'm a swinger. This is fucking key ass. This guy has such bad pain, he just like... Ugh. He's just whipping around all over the place. Let's see. Which killer should I... I mean, I've already got my up to... Huge. Yeah, fuck all that. I would jump to normal. Okay, yeah, I don't think they were cheating, they were just lagging, probably. Feng, are you gonna sabotage that hook? This Feng... They faked doing a flashlight and now they faked sabotaging a hook. Are they okay? Probably. Oh, they vaulted the window. They forgot that they had a flashlight and then they forgot that they had a key. Oh, kill us, Nemi. Normal terrorist trap or something. Hopefully. <sighs> Who is it? It's the bubble. Oh, I oh. threw down the pallet, but he didn't throw down the pallet, and I just got hit instead. Don't know if they're coming over Papa. to you. Papa. How do I get from this envelope? <laughs> 5k. I just ran straight at him. Dead hearted, he just didn't care, he just walked straight past oh. me. You, yeah, you're gonna... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Actually, oh, hello David. I've my trophy tracker. Oh, this is the worst time to put my trophy tracker. There we go. Well, I took the killer. I'm dead. I want to. I want to take him. So I need some chase time. Oh, okay. He's lucky he didn't see me. Oh, he's screwed. Hey, come on. gamer. No. Yeah, got him. Oh, big swinger. Big swinger. Big juicy swinger. Well, I'm going down here. And it's like I throw this pallet in time. Nice. Mugged him off. Oh, that one's not a window. Okay. Oh, hi. Wait, he's coming for me? He is. Big game. Interesting. Is it big I game? can get under this oh. pallet. David throwing. I let go of the generator when no one can move. Oh, Yui's going for the unhook. Never mind. No, oh, they didn't. Yui's they crouching, never mind. No, they got off the gen because you blew it up. Both of these guys are doing that. It's like, happened to me, David runs away. Even because nowhere near us. Yui is coming for the unhook, by the way, she's gonna get me. Oh, good. Well, I'll go for the basement boy then. Have fun with Bubba. In the basement. Yui, wanna heal me? Yui, turn around and look at me and heal me. Thank you very much. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Insidious bubba coming away. Potentially. I toss the pallet. Am I gonna I'll make it to the other one? Again. No, I won't. Big spin. Oh Ooh, my god. Big spin. Nothing off. Double oh spin. Oh. Hit him with the back. Just. GG, is he bad killer? Oh, he didn't see me. Actual blind boy. Right, I'll hop back on there. I've again. never been in this room before. Oh, never Some mind. Bedroom. Bubba saw me. Where are you? Shack. Oh, David's dead. Oh, that dead hard. 
Good one, David. Dead hard when he's charging the chainsaw. Just waste it. I could do with getting him up if possible. Stun them. Oh, yeah. If you can take the killer. Happy killer. Yep, going after you. Hopefully this guy's been recovering. No. Oh, he's going back. Hello, this way. Hello. Yep, <laughs> he's so easy to distract. He just went for the hit. He's going back. I'm just going to pick him up because... Yeah, might as well. He was so easy to distract. It's like oh, one, one way okay. I'm coming that way. He basic attack Yui, literally a free down. Good at the game. He thinks I'm not gonna fucking just run. I'm gonna get on the gen in lane. I think we I'm That gen is free, the one at the other one. Am I going back for it? Yes. Unless he's about to hit me with a big mind game. No, he's going back for it. We're gonna come up. Hopefully, I'll go for me. He's on me. David is free. Oh, okay. I fucked myself. Never mind, I juiced the killer. It was a big brain play. Oh, oh they're healing instead of coming to me. These teammates. Okay, the Yui had some common sense and ran away from David. Bob's going main, Bob's going main. They're actually coming. Oh, big pallet. Oh, and he's tumbling hard. No pallet here. That's a shit one. Oh. I didn't realize that was there, oh. I went the wrong way. If you went the other way, I might have been able to multi block. But... Oh. oh, he's. No, he's speaking out. He's oh, aiming. unless this guy can get a good beamer. No, oh, of course not. Oh, where's he going? Dumbo. Oh, I'm hitting hit right all now. the greats. Oh, it's in two. Nah. If both of you took a hit, then yeah, but no. Yeah. Well, oh, hopefully you I got a nice 60. But, uh... Oh my god, this giving up. I mean, I think I got my 60. I was chased for quite a bit. Fingers crossed. Come on, do it. Give me it. Give me my 60 seconds, game. Alright. I'm taking Bubba for a little spin. Yeah, I got it. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah you're taking him, bro. A juice! I am. Big frost. Oh no, I can't remember which time that was or not. Oh my god, he didn't even... I think I did remember, actually. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh! I got stuck on the fucking window! Luckily, he just Please. basic attacked me. I need to succeed at three healing skill checks as Claude. Yeah, Not even great ones, they're literally just healing. You yeah, actually troll. Big fast. Oh. I'm bad. I'm just gonna go level up. Killers while I'm waiting for you. Hello, Sydney. Oh my god, I got stuck on the wall again. I'm so bad. He's a swinger. Oh my god, this guy is so cute. He is a swinger. Oh no, he's so fucking cute. I love it. Look at the greed. I'm gonna die for it, who cares? I'm gaming. Oh, never mind. He didn't even. I'm greeting. Oh, now I go. Um, Mr. Puddles. Oh my god, I think that's the first time in like a hundred matches I played against a Bubba and it was actually kind of fun. Let me take Bubba on another spin. Where is he? Bubba. Savage smile event head for the clown. I forgot that was one for the clown. Did he leave? Is there a beam in here? No, there's a map. <laughs> Yui actually could have done a gen in that time. <laughs> of course they wouldn't. Didn't I give you a gen man? Bubba with a mind beam. Oh, my DS no ran out. Come on. Your DS ran out of charge? That was pretty sad. Now my DS is actually... Oh! Excuse me? I just got outplayed by the game. I just lagged in place. I just, like, ran into nothing. Yeah. Guess Bubba's just better than me. That's the new killer perk, I guess. 
Uh, oh, fuck the survivor. Straight in the bum hole. Um. Yeah, I'm still me then. This guy's um, name is Beefy. Okay. Are you replying? I did. Oh, he sent me the same thing as well. What did you say? I just said that was the most fun match I've had in a while. GG Easy! <laughs> <laughs> if only. No. Oh, why am I playing as Tap? Back to my wife here. Mohawk clawed up like a little. Yeah. But I might return the favour in a minute. Ah, uh, good. Oh! Okay, it's got Tinkerer! The executioner does. Oh no, he doesn't. Doesn't he have? Doesn't he have, does he have Tinkerer, or does he have the thing where he damages the gem? Because he damaged the gem over here. Yeah, but he didn't go yellow, so he has Tinkerer. Good. Oh. And uh, yeah, and also his Terror Radius came back when he came to buy. So I'm gonna run to Shack. I don't think there was much progress on this train. Oh yeah. No, there's none. Okay, if you go to mine, it was like messy. Uh, we're all three of us on gen, not by not far from the ship. Where was your gen? I'll go to it after this um, one. It was. Uh, if you go clockwise, all right. the way, like, to that other corner of the map. Oh, not straight through the middle of the map, Jane and Feng, directly towards me and the killer. I can't juice him if you fucking... Uh, I'm on, I'm on a gem that's been dinked, it's just under halfway, I should miss Oh, yours. yeah, that was it. I will plant myself on this generator. I'm taking this guy for a fucking spin. There we go, he got me with his power. Oh, Jane and Fanger over here. I'll take the killer away. Jane is on this gen with me. Oh, and Fang. Gonna have to speed on the last yeah. couple of dinks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going down there. Oh, mix. yeah, his Tinkerer just popped. Yeah, he definitely has Tinkerer, because he just popped. Okay, yeah, I'll go right, get the killer. Do you wanna get healed? Oh, well? didn't wanna be healed. Yeah. Well, I've I've better oh, yeah. things to do. I'll heal myself then. I'd like stop this thing from going down. Nope, they swapped. They went back after the thing. Oh, thing's just pre-throwing every pallet. Good. Well, I'm not going to be able to juice the killer anymore because all the fucking pallets are gone. Oh no, oh, he's not picking yeah, up. He's, he's coming this way. He's coming. He's oh, coming. He's coming. He's coming. I'll go and pick that guy up with the guard team. Get a cheap one out of 30. Take the nice. covered. That's actually perfect. Right, hopefully they. Okay, hopefully they keep following okay, me. Yeah, I've got them. Okay. If they keep Did following me. Did damage the gem? Yeah, he's on me. Go, go, go for the gem, go for the gem. I'll tell you if he's still oh. on me. Yep, he's still on me. Tell me when you're gonna pop it. What the fuck cool. is he doing? Fang was coming to me. Right. Any second now, you'll get your adrenaline, I assume. I will. Get my adrenaline. Dink. Oh, that's right. I'll have a little look around for them stinky noed. Thing. It's nearly open though. Oh, oh my god. No noed. No noed. Oh, they're picking up Jane, so. Is the exit open? Yeah, any second now. Okay, Jane, is they're trying it. to. Oh, they're trying to take me far. Oh well, I don't know oh, why. If I had BT, I'd just instantly oh. unhook them, but... I do have borrowed time, so I can. If Let you... Go for it. Oh, no. Just don't let them grab. Oh, body block. Go, go, go. Hit me, 1 out 250. Nope, he doesn't want to. Holy shit, the tunnel. They don't realise they're BT. Oh, I actually got hit. I'll take the points. Nice. Oh my god, I'm Kate just showed up next to me. Ghost face. It's Trekster. 
I hear the rumbling. Oh, even better. There he is. Oh, one cake, there you go. I'm just vaulting. I've got oh, three vaults there. Objective. Four, five, there we go. <laughs> I just vaulted the window twice and then vaulted the pallet three times just to get that out of the way. The worst part I think I the lost them. It actually worked. I'm actually not going to off super hard here. Oh, and you, oh they are just... Well, what, I took a hit, but yeah. I'm trying to... They are getting the They're story, though. not very good. So. No. Oh no, they switched on to me. Oh, they left me. They had enough. Here come the knives. Oh my god, the dead hog? Yep. Oh, no. Coming back over some of now. Someone's in the fucking basement and they're walking. <sighs> oh, he's reloading. Oh, he's going back to you. Big camper. Well, one out of two fifty, here we go. Oh, not even. Oh. I actually just crawled through them and they lost me. Why'd you go for me? Wait, don't go down because again, I'm, please. I'm trying not to go down, but I'm one knife away. Go, go, go. I leave, I'm choosing you. Oh my god, he's, oh, he's on console. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> they are a juicy... A juicy gamer. I could do with a heal. Oh, this poor fucking guy. Where are these guys at? I don't know, I'm going main. Oh, oh. is that a... Okay, I found one of them. I think Keller's given up on life. Michaela's healing me. Oh, this guy blew up the gem. Look at this, Michaela. Oh, we have Iron Maiden, by the way. Look, yeah, I saw them. Go for that locker really quick. Michaela. Oh my god, please. Okay, I'm just getting camped. Guess he wants his one kill and then another kill with no head. Oh, come over and try to get one at 250 then. Like he's literally he's standing right next to me, and Michaela's just like standing next to me doing nothing. I do love when they just don't do gems; they just wait for the killer to never oh. leave. Oh, Thanks, Michaela. <laughs> I'm on a gem just out of me. He's tunneling me. Too bad I can't use decisive twice. Oh my god, he did not drop, did he? Oh my god, he dropped. <laughs> this guy. Uh, we're nearly oh. done in this gem, so you're gonna get rid of in a second. Oh, perfect. Right now would be fantastic. Two seconds. Yeah. Oh, I should have dead hearted first. Get a smidge more distance. Yep. Yeah. Right, I'll run a main. I'm doing the uh, exit one behind pilot. Jen. I'm behind Jen, behind main. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got no way out, so I'm not doing the exit. Oh. Well, he's also probably got no heads, so. Yeah. Get ready for that. Running two endgame perks. Well, considering how he just played, makes sense. Hopefully it's a nurse. I'm next to Kate. Uh, oh, the whole squad's set. Oh, hello. Oh. oh my god. Can we quit? Honestly, no. Oh, I Trickster again. So much. Don't come this way. Oh, well. Oh. Do you want to leave? <laughs> this is that body blocking. He just kept going for you when I was mugging him off. Oh, this geezer actually just... Right, I'm in the middle. Did you fucking see that? Mate? This Leon wanna pick me up? I'm literally... Oh, this Beamer? guy's gonna get down. Oh my god, he's cracked. I'm fully healed if you wanna... Set to tap me up. That Leon just wasted that pallet. That's not a Leon. Um... Right, drop it. Oh, oh I do yeah, that every I'm... time. It's so Oh. There we go. Oh, I found the rune. It's upstairs. Second floor, just above that gen. 
Uh, the gem right by me is nearly done. Mm -hmm. Is that you just hitting Star's a juicy trick. spin? No, that's the key. Doing one next to me. Uh, if... Yes, Kate just sits next to me as I'm fucking booning the hex. Can you go? Can you heal me now? Oh, Kellis right here. Right, okay. So we're in second stage then, guys. Unless this Phoenix can really rev his engines before. Oh no, because the killer's camping really hard. I'm right on doing second stage. I didn't get no 4%. I'm actually dying first hook. Oh, Felix, you literally could have gone for the unhook there. Yeah, Killer is camping me hard and he's just throwing knives for no reason. Yep, he just used his thing. Well, <sighs> thanks guys. Someone's self caring in the courtyard, someone's on a gen the opposite of the map. And he's back. Fun gameplay. Dying first hook. Get fucked. Dead hard. Come on, see 50. Well, go and pick me up. Nope, he's literally not even gonna pick me up. And now this guy, oh my god, why are they even coming here? Well, fun game. What a good game. Let's get face cam by Trickster. <laughs> and our teammates are so bad they didn't do any generators in that time. Great. Fun, get found first, die first. Oh. Well, I wiggled. I do like that. I've got three toolboxes depleted anyway. They've already got 40,000 blood. One of our guys has got 40,000 blood as well, just because they went for envelopes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Both of these guys are running boil over. What a surprise. Oh my god, we've got a boil over power struggle gamer. Oh my god, literally everyone's running it. Well, I guess I'll level up the killers when I wait. That's not bad, is it? Oh, okay, can not blow up the generator? Or oh, will we actually match up with, like, the, um, the movie? Probably not. It's probably just, like, Michael Myers is a killer in real life, and he also likes his friends with the Entity, so... Oh my god. Well, the Entity. I, I got know, in a locker, but my item there. had, like, one charge left on it, so it didn't... Activate my perk to refill it. Studious and rebellious, Nancy Weaver is a stubborn investigator with an instinct for a good story. When her closest friend Barb went missing, she did everything she could to unravel the truth and secure justice. A brilliant journalist, she chases stories and follows leads despite the inequality and chauvinism she encounters at the workplace. Pursuing a lead one evening, she fearlessly approaches the Hawkins National Laboratory <laughs> before suddenly losing consciousness. A moment later, she awakens in a strange, misty realm with the sound of familiar roar echoing through the air. The devil ball with it. Alright, let's go for Steve. Wait, oh, that was no. it? Yeah, that was it. Oh my god, I the really first got... half was like just like a description of the character. It wasn't even like actual backstory. It's just like... Yeah. Alright, then like, this, right. this is a little bit longer, but not that. Popular and arrogant, yet compassionate, Steve Harrington is an unlikely mentor and leader. He often acts as a surrogate big brother to a younger boy named Dustin. He even helped him find his slimy interdimensional pet Demogorgon. Demogorgon, the Dartagnan. Okay. I found the Demogorgon's full name. Uh, his reputation as a protector grew, and he soon became a sort of babysitter for the group of kids in Hawkins with a knack for messing around with strange and dangerous things. His courage is unmatched, so that he was able to fend off the Demogorgon. No way out. When Actually, it's same killer. Course, when it threatens his friends. One oh, evening, he's right there. He oh no, he's got no bed. Okay. Excuse me, I'm trying to read here. One evening, yeah, he I just called for assistance from his friend Nancy Wheeler. Oh my god, here we go. He drove all the way to the Hawkins. 
actually to see if she was okay. He searched the area but only found her notebook. Before realizing what was happening, the ground opened up and a swirl of black mist filled his eyes. When he awakened, he was in a strange place that seemed familiar but unfamiliar at the same time. Oh my god. I love how it says the name Babysitter in the backstory. Yeah, oh, see, yeah, it's because of the name of the perk. I'm like nibbling on them or something. He eats them, and he puts them in that fridge. I love how they didn't even do the death, the, the no head, they didn't cleanse it. Of course. Oh, went for the beamer. <laughs> well. Yo, moth gamer, hello? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? This guy went for the beamer, but, he, but the killer was facing the wall, so he didn't get it. And then he held, he kept holding the flashlight at him. The killer turned and just stared directly into it, so I dropped off. Actual moth, okay then. <laughs> oh. Hi, David. Oh, he hello. He's a tier one gamer. Oh, hello. He sees me booning. Oh, he's gone for me. Oh. I'm fucking bad. I got stuck on a little nub. Okay, he said no one left. He's actually um, no one left. Oh, he's after David. Where's your toolbox? Uh, by the Shen. Oh, where the David is. Oh, yeah, I see. Is the vehicle still there? Oh, he's literally right there. Oh, he's checking the locker. Oh, oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I always do that because oh, I think down is drop, if that makes sense. But no, for some reason it's some circle. He's right there, by the way. Yeah, I know. Wait, have I got Iron Will as my fifth perk? Like, listen to how loud you is. Like, no noise at all. And then you listen to Ash Good. and he's like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Anytime he's fucking injured, you can hear him across the map. <laughs> Juicing oh, him like he's juice that no, he's there in her apartment. <laughs> she is a bit of a gangster. She is. Mm -hmm. There's a gen here that's 60% by the shack. Gen 1, tier 1, gen 1. Actually losing my mind. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Myers, no. Maury, Myers. Maury, Myers. Finish this gen and then I'll go get that. I door. got stuck on the fucking main building. Oh my god, the collision in this game. Beautiful. Big swinger. Oh, he's actually a big swinger. Where's the vault spot? Oh, not there, I'm dead. Oh, he's a swinger. Please? Oh, there go. down I go. Can you mug them off? Are they gonna uh, hit you? You'll make it. Oh, never mind, they hit a great. I pressed, I tapped L1, so they... Okay, I got the trophy. Oh, that was oh. so close. Oh, he's coming to me. Oh, he hit me around the corner. I, I purposely didn't use my dead hard, because you shouldn't hit me there. He's going up. He's oh. going upstairs. No, he's not. Oh. Oh, the fucking window. Oh my god, do you see that? Blood she not. just went for. Is he I'm picking halfway. you up? Wait, he's... No. What the fuck?! Uh, hello? I just got fucking outplayed? My mind just got fucking... ...diddled? Gamed. My brain could not process that. Oh, here he comes. Oh. He, he, they, this allergy doesn't know they could, he can see them through walls. They're just crouching behind a bush. And then he just shanked oh. them. Because... I should actually upload my audio book of the lore to YouTube. Come on. David, please. What was that? Oh, oh he's got God, a... That guy is self... That he's a self-care yeah. in the corner. This guy's got iron grass. Um... That's really annoying. Yeah, now you can't see... The bard. Yeah, you can't see if the killer has iron grasp or not now, unless you don't hit a grate. 
Maybe Claudette. Yes, Maybe we'll gosh. talk about Claudette hiding in a bush. There he is. Oh! Did you see go. that? I'm also I dead. got mugged. I'll oh, count the pallet. I'll oh, game the pallet. Yeah, I just got fucking scam assed by this. Oh, that dead heart. This guy's not healed yet. Do you see this guy? Oh, this, oh, this. They're the D racket, so. Oh, please. Oh my oh, god, he's a so LED? If I can get, get this David, get the GCC they're trigger. gonna waste the pallet, aren't they? He's such a swinger, what the fuck? They're 100% wasting this pallet. Oh, well, they're gonna get him. Just... Why are you camping, like... Get the CJ, go and do it. No, they just said no one left. They're gonna pick up him. Okay, He's interesting, in Michael. Shield. Oh, we got oh, the dead. <laughs> juicy dead hard. Just tap me up, detected me. Come on, somebody. David? Stop crouching. What? Okay. He hasn't got the, t he hasn't got the tier getting... one add on. Wait, he's got game. tombstone. No, he doesn't. He hasn't been stalking that much. He only just popped though. I There's haven't no seen him stalk me at tip. all. Yeah, but why did he pop it now? Because he's good at the game. Uh, wait. Uh, pickups for you. You can go for this. I'll I'm see done. Oh. That was my last one. I am um, on the other side of the map. Go, 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 go. go. I'll go for the unnet. Oh, if he's actually done. tombstone, go, go, go. Michael, I don't think he is though because I didn't see him stop me once. He's just a big chaser. Okay. Like I'd be very surprised if he got his oh, tombstone he's on already. Me. You can go for the unhook yeah. if you wish. I do. I hear him. Oh! Yeah, there we go. He was just, he just bad at playing Mike. Explain. David's standing still. I have to... He's, He's actually thing. got crows on him. Oh my god. <sighs> Any possible chance of us, like, recovering the match? Just AFK teammate. Yeah. That makes us first. Um, that makes this first Evil Within 3 a bit longer, because that was a really quick Evil Within 3 the second time. Maybe. Oh, that would be Tombstone. Like, Purple Tombstone. Actually, oh, both yeah, Tombstones would yeah. do that. Maybe he's got Purple Tombstone. Yeah, he might just have Tombstone and not Iridescent. Uh, like, not Infinite. Yeah, I've got, um, I'm on the gen by the second recording. This guy swings so often. Yeah, they are a big boy. Oh, I'm gonna get fucking giga lunged by Michael. Oh no, he's got gamer ping. Where's LED? <laughs> On a gen. You might actually be able to go for the gamer. If you're 99 that one. And LED I'm getting in a locker, so to avoid the... <gasps> no, oh, my glyph is right there! <laughs> <laughs> I'm he surprised is a I didn't hit you. Lunger. Is this way he she is? Yes. On this gen? Yep. Oh no. Oh! Yes, my plan is working. How close is her gen? Basically done. Oh, I guess I'll do this one first. Now I'm back over here. Did he damage it? He didn't. No clue. Just, just LED. Oh, too oh my god, LED. <laughs> No way I'm, I'm just gonna have to look for the hatch. Holy! Oh, he's going to kick it. Yep. It's a big heel, man. I guess. Oh, he's right there. Yep. Well, oh, I'm one screwed because there's nothing over here. He's a big swinger. Do you want to pick up Elodie? She's under a power. I'll probably end She's up nice throwing it instead. She's like full. full. Might make it oh, to the if window. I can get to this window. Oh, you're gonna get lunged. Juicy! Bad ping. Oof. Oh my god, how did that not hit you? Get out from under that pallet, you little geezer. <laughs> of course. Now hopefully they can run a little bit, but they're probably gonna head down immediately. I'm just gonna crawl to the hatch. That's yep. so bad. What a surprise. They, they tried to run around the hill. So After all of that. Hurt. This pilot her traditional upbringing, Yuikamura raced scooters in her hometown of Hida, 
where she earned the reputation of being able to do the impossible with very little. Her father did his best to steer her away from what she believed to be masculine pursuits, but her grandmother secretly shared her grandfather's engineering manuals and notes on car and motorcycle engines. <sighs> Yui read her grandfather's manuals and learned fast. She was, o she was able to not only maintain her scooter, but she modified the engine so that she could compete with older boys on motocrosses. With her grandfather's good luck, Hachimaki, Hachimachi, I don't know how you say that. Hachimaki. Wrapped around her arm. Oh, I scrolled too far down. Hachimaki. <laughs> she raced local boys who, unable to keep up with her, worked together to orchestrate her defeat. Oh no. <laughs> no luck for them. <laughs> oh my god, this backstory. Yui outmaneuvered them at every time. This is a horror a game, by the way. To all her Actual Resident Evil lore over here. Just like having a giggle. When it came time to apply for school, Yui gathered her courage and confessed her ambition to race motorcycles to her father. An altercation ensued, and when Yui refused to apply for a proper education, her father felt a great shame and told her she was no longer welcome in their home. With a heavy heart, Yui left to Nagoya with her blessings and savings of her grandmother. Oh my god, this goes on for another like four of those yeah. paragraphs. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Nagoya was not what Yui expected. She could only find low grade clerical work or minor jobs as a hostess. With the last of her money her grandmother gave her, she purchased a racing bike and entered illegal street races where she won more money than she'd ever seen. Rumors of her courage and quick reflexes spread like wildfire. Soon she had been an unofficial retinue of women motorcyclists wearing Yui's signature pink. Oh, great. Along with a gang following her, Yui realized she had a stalker. Ooh, it's getting mm. real now. It's gonna be the entity. Oh, it's gonna be Michael Myers. <laughs> it's gonna be... It's gonna be... Daddy. It's gonna be the entity. Oh, yeah, it's actually yeah. gonna be the entity. I can swear. Oh, wait, yeah. um, <sighs> Quick, read the rest. Old chick Tony. She took her concerns to the police. Wait, Forever. she realised she had a stalker follow her in the shadows. When Yui realised her lucky handkerchief had been stolen from her apartment, she took her concerns to the police, who laughed and dismissed her saying her stalker could be a nice guy and that she would probably marry him in the what? near future. Uh, hello? Oh my god. We'll I'll... leave the rest to later. Yeah. What? Like okay. Cliffhanger. Like, oh my god. Okay. First off, like, lucky handkerchief. Okay. Cool. Yep. Second, what the fuck is that response? Hello? Literally. Also, I love how someone's actually just writing out just fan fiction <laughs> <laughs> no one reads. Oh, oh my god. god. Like four or five chunky paragraphs. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. Then she applied to a squid game type <laughs> game called Dead by Daylight. Mm -hmm. Three more paragraphs to go. Here we go. Right. One evening, Yui returned home to find the stalker in her apartment going through her things. He hadn't seen her, and she wasn't sure what she could do. But the sight of him going through her clothes was too much to bear. She yelled for him to leave. The stalker turned to her with a knife. <gasps> he lunged at her. She evaded his attack. She hit him with a juicy, and he hit the wall and dropped his knife. Actually hit him with a juicy. <laughs> like a blight hitting the wall. Without hesitation, Yui tackled him. They rolled over to the ground, exchanging desperate blows. Yui took more blows than she had ever experienced racing scooters in Shirakawa. Okay, with the surge of adrenaline. Adrenaline? She managed to overpower her stalker, snatching the knife from the floor and holding the razor sharp blade to his neck. Oh, my light just went off. The entity, actually. The entity actually interrupting my story. When the police reached her apartment, they took him away and rushed Yui to the hospital for trauma. X-rays revealed she had broken her arm and foot in several places. It wasn't long before they 
before the, her gang showed up one by one, and together they helped pay her medical bills. Rehabilitation was difficult for Yui, but never wait. Rehabilitation was difficult, but Yui never gave up. And with the support of her gang, she was ready for the races. Yui's first race after the attack was wait. Yui's first race after the attack. Her gang put there's a really good grammar in here. Her gang presented her with a new pink hakamaki hachimaki with her their signatures and good luck messages written all over it. Yui vowed she would help other women with her winnings and influence. True to her word, her gang became known as the Sakura Seven Gang, and they wore pink hachimakis as a symbol of unity and support for women needing help from stalkers and abusers. Final chapter. <laughs> Not even finished yet. I love how, um, like, she actually just spanned the killer and then almost became a killer herself. <laughs> she almost got. The Sakura Seven grew beyond the seven members, and Yui's signature pink became synonymous with women's empowerment. At street races, women would line up in droves to support her. After winning seven races in a row. She attracted the attention of a sponsor. She not only earned a spot at the All Japan Moto Championship, but was the youngest woman to race and win in a prestigious event. Her sponsorship soon tripled, so too did her gang, but everything came to a staggering halt at the illegal TK3 street races. Yui was leading the race until she entered an unnatural fog, because someone used a whatever they're called, that seemed to have appeared from nowhere. Baffled and confused, she stopped her bike and dismounted. It wasn't long before she realised she wasn't in Tokyo anymore. Ooh. I love how they just crammed the whole <laughs> entity part, like the most important bit, into, into the like last two second. Sentences. Oh my god, that is... like the last three lines are just like. Oh my god, that's so okay. funny. So um, where's her bike now? Like, why doesn't she oh. still have that? Oh, of course, God. fucking this geezer had to bring in a murky reagent and then you got <laughs> sent to the fucking shadow realm. She actually, yeah, she... That was so funny. Oh, oh, I love dear. how they're... I'm pretty sure they're, like, intentionally including, like, references and shit in there. When they're like, adrenaline, they're like, oh, I said the pack name, guys. The problem, it, well, the problem goes with this, it should have stopped after four paragraphs. And then they were like, because it's like, oh... And they wore pink hachimakis as a symbol of unity and support for women needing help from stalks and abusers. That sounds like an ending. And then they're like, oh yeah, we need to cram in something about oh, the And entity. then they're like, oh yeah, <laughs> the entity. Um, uh, she, she, drove, she rode her bike into a bit of fog and she, she never came out again. She went into the fog again. and then she went and got off the bike and then, oh no, she, she wasn't she so wasn't got 800 you. hours. Good one. All right. During a weekend at a cabin with friends, Ashley J. Williams uncovered the Necronomicon, Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead, and awoke something dark in the woods. The Entity! Evil possessed his friends, whom he was forced to kill, and his right hand, which he, was, which he sawed off. Okay. For the next 30 years, Ash ran from his past, working at a value stop department store and seducing women in dive bars but he screwed up one night while being high when he read from the necronomicon to impress a woman evil found him once more wrecking the life of those around him what in the fuck am i listening to <laughs> no idea i mean ready up when you know that it's kind of just like ramped up out of nowhere he was impressing a lady by reading the Book of the Dead. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um, right, yeah, right. But his pa co-workers, Pablo, who was raised by a, sh a shaman, and Kelly, who was orphaned by the Deadites, helped him put up a fight. While battling evil, Ash was reunited with his long-lost daughter, Brandy, who encouraged him to embrace his role as saviour of humanity. Okay, where'd that come from? After a terrible fight with a fully formed demon, Ash, drawing his last breath, was taken by the Knights of Samaria and transported into the future. Okay. I feel like we're missing a lot of context. 
It kind of yeah. just like fast I'd... forwards through everything. Yeah, like who who are the deadites? Who, is, uh, who are the knights of Sumeria? Doesn't matter. Like, uh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Next paragraph. Ash awakened to a voice, his head throbbing. Since defeating a gang of deadites a week ago, he had been in a perpetual state of hangover. He heard the voice once more, a woman singing, sensual and inviting. Mm -hmm. Stepping into the corridor in his boxes, he strode towards the voice, which led to the public locker room. As Ash pushed open the door, the singing stopped. There was a rustling of curtains. He called out, entering the change room. His voice reverberated on the mouldy tile walls. He pressed on, reaching a shower that was still dripping wet. Cold, humid fingers ran down his bare back. He turned around. Oh my god, here we go. Sex has been added to DVD. A woman stood <gasps> naked, her skin glistening in the morning oh. light that streamed in the high windows. Ash recognised her instantly. Linda Emery, one of his former high school flings. They had gotten back together 30 years later while saving their hometown from evil. He had ended their relationship soon afterward, preferring to indulge freely in his newfound popularity. By the way, evil is a proper noun. Um, <laughs> alright. I don't know, okay. Linda, wi Linda winked at Ash, who closed the distance between them. <laughs> he mm. caressed her cheek wistfully. What was she doing here? Did she know anything about the whereabouts of his daughter, and Pablo and Kelly? Oh god. A sharp blade dug into his hand, making him jump back. Oh. Linda slid a finger across the edge of her blade, collecting Ash's blood on her fingertip. She smiled and her skin shriveled, her hair faded and shoulders stooped, and her curves sagged, aging decades older in a matter of seconds. She attacked Ash, who poorly managed to block being half naked. What does that have really anything to do with his ability to block an attack? Okay, onwards. This is a weird porno, but okay. Every blow she delivered earned him a new wound. She slashed his bad knee and he fell to the floor. As she jumped on top of him, Ash shrieked in disgust, knocking the knife out of her hands. Her varicose Okay, varicose hands wrapped around his neck, strangling him. Gasping, he outstretched his arm. What? I thought I missed a line there. Gasping, he outstretched his arm, hand landing on a soap dispenser. <laughs> he spurted out some liquid on his fingers and poked her in the eyes. The elderly woman winced, weakening her hold, and Ash elbowed her in the face. Knocking her back, he rolled over and grabbed the knife from the floor. Just as he was about to plant it into her chest, he stopped. There was something else he wanted more. Um, he pressed the blade against her throat. Let's make a deal, demon. In exchange for not killing you, you portal me back to my friends. The demon agreed. Was this the Demogorgon? She began reciting the incantation, instructing Ash to repeat after her, which he failed to manage. Good oh, we'll finish that off. I feel like there's so much stuff missing. They like just speed through the first bit. They're like, oh, here's the deadites or whatever the fuck, and then they're yeah. like, here's this girl. Uh, he fights them for a bit. They have a little sexy time. Um, <sighs> Literally, what is the point? Like, what is happening? <laughs> I feel like I'm like, missing so much information. Literally. It's so weird. What, like, um, and where does the entity come into this? I swear to fucking god, if it's just another... Ooh, I, here's my guess, I haven't read... Here's my guess. I bet that, they, I bet that this demon portals him to the fog instead of to his friends that he's trying to save. I guarantee that's where this goes. Dude, it's so fucking Because there's, 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 like, there's like a paragraph or two left. I bet that's what happens. Oh, why? We, we, we ended off with Ash reciting the incantation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Their combined exchange of Sumerian words triggered his triggered a hiss from the showers behind them. 
The wet tiled floor darkened and the pipes burst. A whirlpool of dirty water, shower curtains and used toilet paper swallowed the demon, while Ash held onto a locker door, which slowly slipped from his fingers. Fuck! In the locker. Ash landed flat on his chest in the realm of the entity. <laughs> Told you. Splu sputtering grass. He got up, brushed off the dry clothes he suddenly had on. Then he looked around and his grin fell. It was the kind of place that made two things obvious. One, there wasn't any bar for miles. And two, he was going to need his shotgun and chainsaw. Both of which he lacked. As he started to walk towards a glinting light ahead, a scream rippled through the trees. Groovy. Groovy. Mm. <sighs> Wow, that was so cool. Also, I love how you like literally predicted the. That's what they call oh it. My God. I, I scrolled down at the very beginning and I saw Groovy, and I knew. Oh my God! I literally predicted it. Like, of course, they're so predictable. <laughs> All of these little gigglers. Yeah, it's just like something happens. Oh, they're in the entities realm now. Uh, well, the should we do? Should we do Jill and Leon real quick? Sure. Uh, we'll do, How we'll do Leon. Very small. Uh, Leon, having faced hordes of zombies on his first day as a police officer, Leon S. Kennedy had to learn the job quickly, investigating the biohazard that had ravaged Raccoon City. Leon infiltrated an abandoned Umbrella Corporation laboratory where a sudden and unexpected black fog led him astray. That's it. Are you kidding me? It's <laughs> literally just like... The zombies, he went into the laboratory fog. It's like, okay. okay. Jill is a little bit longer, but not very cool. much. Wow. Ex ex excelling at lock picking and bomb disposal, Jill Valentine was a brilliant special tactics and rescue service STARS agent. After bravely rescuing her team members from a devastating biohazard, she returned to Raccoon City to save the survivors left behind. But a lethal and ruthless super soldier named Nemesis was on her trail. After dealing the Nemesis a few blows, Jill rushed to the basement and picked the lock of a cold room. Once inside, her body turned numb as a black fog engulfed her. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> I I mean, it's better than Leon's, barely, because it's like, you know, a, a couple sentences longer. It mentions the, the like, nemesis as well. Mm? What oh is this? God. Oh my... That, those, have, those have to be the worst ones. That's literally like nothing. What, I just don't have one at all. Literally. You never know what really matters in life until you realise it might end soon. Laurie is one of those who just wants a quiet life in the suburbs, hanging out with family, friends, and maybe go on a date or two. Laurie is a typical teenager. You could pass her on the street and not think twice. She does her homework and is liked by her friends, teachers, and family. A simple night of babysitting turns into something that will forever change the course of her young life. A knife swooshing through the air screams from afar. Noises that play tricks with her mind. But not Laurie. She's made of something stronger, something that won't give up. That's it. Okay, Michael was swinging at her, like in that game we just played, and it doesn't even mention like the entity at all. No. 